Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Victoria 2, I'm your host, Mr. Mokalora. And right now, we're looking at something incredibly great for our country, our united country, which consists of most of what used to be America, Central America, and Cuba, and Puerto Rico, or, yeah, Puerto Rico, yeah, Confederate West Indies, great. But the Panama Canal has been completed. Opening of the Panama Canal in 1889, steamer SS Ancon, entering Pedro Miguel, locks from Calabra Cut. Huzzah! We get 226 prestige, which is going to basically roughly double our prestige. We get 1,200 research points, we build the canal, and we get continuous prestige until the end date, which I might modify depending on what we might want to do here, but... Beautiful. We're now second in the world prestige, and we jumped up to the fourth greatest power in the world. But, like always, at the beginning of almost every episode, we have to go to war. And this time, I'm feeling a little bit El Salvadorian right now. Oh, well... I've already been found out, apparently, but it doesn't really matter too much. I wanted to show you guys the canal, and if we get hit by infamy, oh well, we're 15 infamy right now, which is not very good. But we're just about to go to war, and we've just been found out, but that won't be too bad, because in about, I think, what, is it, what year was it that we need to go back to war with America? Because, like I said in the last episode, we're going to ping pong between going to war with Mexico, the United States, and maybe some other uh, Central American nation or somewhere in Africa, because we love Africa here, Africa here in this world. So in about two-ish years, we can go to war with the good old US of A. Even though I'm taking a look at the army we're building up right now, it's not going to be great, so I'm going to... We're just going to make, it, make an army to border almost every single northeastern United States state. At least that's my goal for now. This way we can just beat the crap out of them even faster, because Nevada doesn't have that many population. They have less than, like, they have about 50,000 people here, maybe. Uh, Colorado doesn't have that much either. And then we have Oklahoma here, which is like less than 50,000, so these states don't really mean too much. Also, before we do go on, because Victoria 2 is such a unique game, I want to show you culture. So, at, you saw in the beginning of the last episode that this part of South Dakota was mostly Bulgarian, less than 15% Bulgarian, but that was majority culture. Now it's 75% Dixie, 10% Dakota, 7% Yankee, as well as 4% African American. And actually, as you can see, majority culture is going to be Dixie. Even African American, while it has a large population percentage of the population in South Carolina, Georgia is majority Dixie. Louisiana, Little Rock, and Vicksburg, where the Mississippi River is, and it's a very important river, especially historically for African Americans, um, while they still are there, that's majority Dixie. Arkansas looking pretty good. I mean, this is looking really good. Of course, with the states like in California, because it's Texan, and they're socialist Texans in California. Don't believe I would have ever said that before, but whatever. Uh, even down here, even though there's a lot of Mexicans down here, actually Mexico, Mexico doesn't even have cores in this area. That's great. Um, it's turning Dixie. <laughs> Los LA is looking really crazy. Wow, I you got you Jews, you got your, your uh, Indians, you got Yankee, Romanian, who? When did we start enslaving Romanians? We got Germans, we got some Japanese, Aromanians, Hungarians. More Indians, Ugrians, Ossetanians, Bosniaks. I mean, we're such a very diverse culture here, but we really pre do prefer uh, uh, Dixie here. Look at that. 50% of the population is Dixie in Mar Marquette. And we have Texans up there too. Cool. And last time we did, maybe last time, we're, yeah, I think it was last time, we made Havana our capital, as someone did say in the comments from yesterday. Um, it's a wacky capital. Oh, also I do want to show you that the Panama Canal Zone, Balboa, is majority Dixie, which is only 27%. This place is becoming more and more Dixie as well, as well as Puerto Lempira. But let's just keep going on, because as much as I love looking at culture and such, it, oh my goodness, I don't know, just, this is great. I love Vicky 2. It's one of, one of my favorite games. So we finished off Steel Railroad. We've got electricity. Um, we've got Revolution, kind of Revolution. Actually, what is the next tech for 1890? Is it this stuff? No. So we got a while to do that. We'll probably get military logistics. Let's go ahead and grab this one for now. Just because I want to make sure when we go back to War with America that we will be 100% good and ready to go. A black abolitionist? I think we've already read this before. Let him talk. I mean, just, slaves are not all African American. We actually have free African Americans here. We just still believe in slavery and anyone can be a slave here. Just saying. Uh, the political campaign of 1889. What is a populist? They're still a majority conservative. There's quite a growing socialist base. I honestly prefer reactionaries, but even the liberals for us, like I said before, wouldn't be very good. So, I would prefer the Whigs or the Populists, but I prefer the New American Party over them all. Um, even the anarcho-liberals aren't very good to get. Brothers of the Revolution would be quite good to get, actually. And the Communists was actually, Communism was founded by the Finns, I believe, so. Even then, that's not too bad. Planet Economy could be a lot worse. 
Uh, protectionism is not bad. Pro-military, full citizenship. I don't like the atheist part for the, for the country that, for right now, but that's okay. Also, we do want to keep an eye on our mission for the Golden Circle. Uh, let's go with the reactionary parties for now. But now we go to Hispaniola, which we can take from America, so that's actually fine with us. And they still own Uruguay. They refuse to give it up. Let's go figure. They actually are not in the world for power, but we're fifth in the world, so... Not too bad. The wave of colonial unrest. If you want to about that, please go ahead. We must remain calm. The situation will pass. Merchant stress. If you'd like to about that, please go ahead as well. Oh, we can go back to war with Mexico? Oh, yes, please. And here we go. You, me, and El Salvador. Someone might come into the war and say, no, don't take him out. But I don't care. And we're actually 11th in the world in industry. Look at that. Nice. Guatemala. Hey, last time we called you into the war, you said no. So we're just doing what has to be done. But yeah, look at that. 11th in the world. Oh, California is leading us. Followed by Missouri. Oh, okay. That's kind of different. Mechanized mining. Very, very nice. And what else is going on here? Yep. Very, very good. And how is that army we're building? 60,000. Not quite there yet, though. I will say that. So we need about... So that's eight. We need two more infantry. Which would be a good thing to create. Two more infantry. Oh! A Mexican infantry. That'd be very nice. And an Yankee infantry. And then we'll get that one done. And they'll be sent over there. And we do need to keep some money in here as well. So that'll be good. We're going to go to war with these guys first. At least for now. Just because we will need them uh, later on. We will probably need El Salvador, the slavery debate. We will not reform slavery. And if you want slavery, well, you're welcome. And the conservative reactionary party is won. I've heard that it's almost impossible for uh, the reactionary party to win. But it is possible, it's just very difficult to do so. Regardless of the nation you're playing as. It's probably easier for some nations than others, but it is what it is. Admiral died. Uh, Romania, Gelady, no one cares. Yeah, as you can tell, we're not really focusing too much on coring... Uh, colonization here yet but I am waiting for the Great War event to fire so that when Great Wars actually happen and we beat someone up I'm gonna take a lot of colonies eventually so and there we go El Salvador thank you very much of course thank you all right so at this point let's let's do this because we're not really connected down here uh, we can build an actually oh yes yes please we're gonna build an army uh, what do we have down here Dixie Dixie Central Americans and then some artillery and get a horse there you go Let's start building an army down here, too. So now, we need to take out Guatemala, Los Altos, and get Belize. And this is not ours yet. Incident Costa Rica, if you liked about that, please go ahead. Uh, just a slight terrorist threat down there, that's all. Uh, nope, we're good. Actually, we don't have on you yet. So we wait. Just gotta wait a little bit longer. Uh, let's see, Paraguay? I'm not sure if you can really help us out, man. I'll be honest, so we're gonna say no for now. Argentina. Oh, we can't help them out. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, what do we have around here? France. Yeah, so increased relations. We still have the North German Federation. Would you like an alliance? That's very good. We're fourth in the world. We actually have a bigger military than they do. They have a drastically larger industrial base. We've got a lot more prestige, too, though. So, that's good. Increased relations, because we can. Until we want to kill everyone else off. America still wants to be a great power, but... After the next few wars, it will never be. Wow, this is a mess. Sokoto? Wow, look at Africa. That is... Oh, God, we can't come down here. We need the Dark Continent, but whatever. Uh, Sokoto, well... Establish Protectorate. Five infamy, 90 days. I think we gotta do that, man. I think we just really gotta do that. Incident in El Salvador? Nope. No incident Incident in El Salvador. This place of Africa has a lot of pops, which is very nice. Alright, what else happened here? Is we allow Terra cells. That's not good. Of the dividends of the Panama Canal. Annual dividends received from ownership of the Panama Canal. We get a thousand or was it ten thousand monies? Pounds? Very cool. We love the dividends. Um Green Bay slaves and marks. In the plantation fields of Green Bay, the sound of the international can be heard more loudly and frequently than old slave songs. Many working slaves, having learned to read, have also learned about the philosophies of men like Karl Marx and his vision of a world without social classes. What they intend should be obvious, considering their situation in the country. Crack down on these socialist influences? We might do that. Slaves have no political power anyways. Ooh. I don't want to lose prestige, so. Don't worry, just let it fester and grow until they rebel, so. Ah, the Dark Continent. We love the Dark Continent. Why is it called the Dark Continent? Don't ask me. Oh, we still can do this one. We have no naval base close enough. That sucks. There you go. Can we colonize? I want to colonize now. <laughs> ah, Germany. Yeah, our bases are too small. We, we have a base here, but it's just not enough. That's alright. That's okay. Eventually... What's going on down here? Oh, you have militant socialists. Okay, well, what, good luck with that. Yeah, it's the point we can't colonize, but could, I would love to see Confederate Africa. We kind of already have a Confederate Africa, actually. And China is partially Western. I'd love to beat them up, but we'll see later on. We'll definitely see. 
All right, we're maxed out for that stuff. We have steel steamers. We need some of this as well. It is now 1890, so happy new decade, everyone. Industry, cheap iron. Uh, we could do that interchangeable parts. Let's do that one first. Combustion engines would actually probably be really good to get, but it costs so much score. It costs so much score. We got a lot of money now, and let's lower the chips a little bit more. Vanguard Party, Communist Rebel Organization gain. That's not good. And let's double check our dudes over here. And that's 66. Not bad. Cool. And we get rid of... How many engineers do we have? We can get rid of one, two, there you go. Now we have a nice little 60,000 stack for Washington, D.C. You guys can get on hat down here. Ooh, boy, maybe not. Let's over there. Los Autos? Nope. All right, so we're looking pretty good here. We got five. We need one, so we need three infantry and one horse. Three infantry and a you know, horse. One, two, three... And a horse, dude. But, let's see. Ah. Did I get a horse already? I can't tell. No, I don't think I did. Whatever. There you go. That'd be nice. What's going on here? Car Jill. That's fine with us. And Sokoto, we... You have no score. Okay. Well, it should be pretty easy then. Bida? Let's take the capital first. It might be mobilizing, but it should be too bad. Yeah, we're taking this out very fast, which is very nice. And, thank you. It is 1890, so we... Nope. Oh, America's at war with somebody else now. So I don't, usually don't read the newspapers too much, so... And... Bingo Bongo. Cabby is next, because that's the only place that where they're making actual people. Or more military units. And we have a total population of almost 37 million people. Oh, very good. Busa. The letter campaign, if you want to read about that, please go right ahead. Uh, I don't want to make people more liberal yet. So, hey! Oh, uh, abolition, is that all? Yeah, I don't know, guys. I don't know about that. We already have some industrial sites, which is nice. And thank you very much. Cool. I'm just waiting for more education, maybe some more health care. So go to Apache Raiders. Cool. And beautiful, my friends. Absolutely beautiful. Because we can do this and still be okay. So what do we have? Six, seven, one, one. We have one. We have two engineers actually. So it doesn't really matter what we throw on here. Um, throw in more infantry then. How is infantry? Very good. Oh, are those the Dutch? All right. Well, not a bad war. Pretty good. Ab abolish that stuff. No, we're okay. Ah, good. This could come in handy. Fa oh, rubber was found. A small expedition was sent to investigate a curry, and its surrounding has made some quite some interesting discoveries. According to the explorers, rubber trees are growing in abundance in the area. Their discovery could prove quite useful within the near future. This could come in handy. Very handy, actually. So, oh, oh, minus 10% factory cost. Oh, we gotta do that one immediately. We have to. Just because electric machinery does cost more, but... We want as many as big of a good industry as possible. Even though we're losing a lot of money right now. That sucks. I don't want to raise stress all the time. But if we have to, we have to. Just a, It doesn't have to be that much green. Just enough green to make me feel good about ourselves. Because green never go up makes me get, have big love. Big love. Alright. Not bad. France still kind of likes us. You guys don't want to come into our wars, but okay. Ah, uh, canned food production output, very nice. So the main goal to have a to make a lot of money is to destroy everyone else's industry, right? That's how we do it. Exploding Chattanooga. If you want to read about that, please go ahead. Kaboom! Nice. And what's going on? Oh, the Czech Republic. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. Cool. It's fine with us. Whatever. Eleventh most powerful industry in the world, but very prestigious. Uh, even Italy. Wait, in Italy form. What happened? Why is Banat its own thing? Serbia? Well, huh? Why is... Why did you annex Albania? And why has Banat been released and Slovenia? What? How have you not formed Germany yet, man? This is really sad. They're fifth in the world. They're fourth in the world. Speech in Parliament. Stop the move. Uh, I don't want to lose plurality. That's fine. Oh. Wait, who, who has problems here? Greece is looking... Well, they're pretty looking pretty Greek. Romania's looking kind of ugly, I'll be honest. And no Iraq. What's going on here? Crisis, huh? More dividends. Nice. This is against Japan. Uh, what's Ainu? Oopsie. I, I, I have no idea. Where is this? What the heck is this? 
A N A I N U Mosir. What is M O S I R? Okay, it doesn't exist on the on the game map. All right, well that's good to know. And bragging rights, and we have some Yankee Patriots. Y'all can rebel as much as you like. You're gonna die. What? Just like everyone else. Oh, do we have no horses? I thought we had a horse here, but okay. Well, we'll get a Dixie horse. There you go. And we'll see what happens. Self semi automation would be very nice. We're now we're only fifth in the role for, uh, I guess, military strength. But America is still only ninth, so. And we get rides. I hope to God that this time, we do not uh, have to mobilize. Gotta get to know you having having to mobilize all the time. When you get ready to go to war to yourself. Alright, anything else around here? How's the culture doing? Still looking pretty normal. Pretty normal. Pretty good. Pretty good. Hey, there you go. Nice. Good, 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 good. Assembly line would be even better, too. We're done with all that stuff. We really need to focus up more on this stuff. Let's get let's increase our port size. Oh, we can make battleships. So now we really need to increase our port size, so. Nope. Hokkaido. Um. I'll support this side. Why not? Screw it. Could Japan beat everybody else up here? Nope. Don't even care. I'm not even going to read it. And Portugal. Actually, can we influence Canada? Let's do Canada too. Why not? Portugal. Thank you. Yeah, I'll probably have to mobilize. That's going to suck. Alright, so we got to wait till September, which is fine. What's going on here? Liberia, no one cares. And we got the horse done. The Confederate Red Star. A new daily with no shame about its political leanings has been incorporated in Havana. The Confederate Red Star, official party organ for the Confederate Socialist Party. The Red Star pushes publishes deeply moving social commentary, seldom without picturesque little reports on the conditions of working men and women across the world. The Red Star stands or so claims for international solidarity, workers' rights, unionism, and class struggle on a broad democratic and social space. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll do that one. Cool. Enact women, women's suffrage. Do we want that? Hmm. Militancy non colonial does go down. I don't know if we believe in women's suffrage here, but I guess if we have to. The idea of women's suffrage increasingly gained traction in Western society throughout the 19th century, first advocating the writings of early liberal philosophers such as England Mary's Wollstonecraft or John Stuart Mill. The idea and ideology of women's suffrage gradually developed as the century wore on into a coherent ideology in its own right feminism. The experiences during the First World War of women working in factories and other jobs previously reserved for men during peacetime is often said to have been a crucial pivot point in securing women's right to work, vote, and other fields of society achieve legal equality with men. At what cost, though? Cool! Uh, maybe I should have saved that for when we're actually at war, but, eh, it's fine, whatever. Oh, you guys are not looking very bueno. You guys head on up to Wheeling, or wherever you need to go. Maybe go to Manassas first. Actually, what could you guys use? Uh, an engineer and an infantry. Engineer. And infantry. I get a guard, that's fine. More reactionary, all ports of black abolitionists. Uh, I like the prestige. More, uh, let's go more our action for now. We can lower the, our prestige just a little bit. And from here on out, we, let's raise up our tariffs just a little bit more. Oh! That's good. We'll figure out what it is. So we need to do that. We need to do that. We need to do this. Lots of spending. I hate raising up tariffs. Oh god, what did you do? Communist riot. If you want to read about that, please go right ahead. What's going on, Germany? Third Franco Prussian War. God dang it, guys. I'm sorry. I, I don't want to come in. I really just don't want to come in. I'm sorry, guys. There you go. Now they still like us. All right, we gotta raise up our tariffs even more. Then, god dang it. Ah, uh, you know, if I could build the industry, I would. But we're not allowed to for some stupid reason. All right, you guys, get him over here. Wait, engineer, artillery. We need a uh, infantry. Ay, ay, ay. There you go. Nice. Uh, where's the infantry? Where's the guard unit? Yep, it'll go right here. There you go. Not bad. Yeah, at this point, we'll, we'll probably mobilize first. We'll probably mobilize as soon as we go to war. Menangua? Oh! We can, oh, we can finally create a state. That's good. That's probably really good to do, actually. There you go. Get rid of that, too. Not bad. Puerto Rico become... There you go. And... Let's take a look at our other national 
focuses as well. Alright, not bad, not bad. We're still encouraging capitalists in Virginia because it's their most populous state. 0.2% is not bad. Kentucky, we'll look at Kentucky because of that. Uh, intellectuals, that's good enough for Alabama. That's pretty good already. California could use some intellectuals. From... Probably Alabama, right? Yeah. Cool. Alright, what else do we have around here? Uh, 61%, 50%, 100% for intellectuals. Yeah, but we just started that one. Alright, cool. We're still working on stuff. We're still working on stuff. So give us some time. Slaves in the Moab factories? Sure, why not? And we go to war soon, but not just quite yet. Manifesto de Monteserati. Jose Marte, a Cuban intellectual and radical, spent a great deal of time organizing emigres in the U.S. has returned to the colony and defeated the Manifesto de Montecristi, an exposition of the purposes and principles of the coming Cuban Revolution. It sees the uprisings, or the seems the uprising has been in plan for some time, and if the Confederate government tends to remain in control of Cuba, it would have a battle ahead of it. Well, crap. Head on down, guys. See what you can do. If they want to have an open rebellion, so be it. We're going to kill every last one of them, then. There you go. Provinces brought under control. With the Patriot Rebellion now over, our provinces have now been brought under control, and Confederate governors are once again in command, as it should be. And keep going for this one, too. Immediately do that one. Thank you very much. Yeah. No, there's not going to be any rebellion by you guys here. Absolutely not. We need more money, too. God dang it. Fine. Max out the tariffs. Doesn't do much for us, but whatever. How badly is Germany getting destroyed? Oh, they're doing actually pretty okay against France. They're not doing bad against Russia either, so they actually might win down here. That should be pretty good for them. Even the Czechs are coming in too. That's pretty good. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good for them. Oh, well, I guess we just literally saw Germany form. Now that's going to be a very strong Germany. It's a good thing we're allies, right? Now they're second in the world too. They did mobilize, though. So what do you expect? Uh, you guys are missing another infantry. Why are we always missing so much infantry? We'll go to war soon. I would keep saying that, but we will. I don't want to tax any capitalists, but we'll see. Alright. Cool. And you guys are okay. Waiting for you guys to get back up here. Alright. Is there anything else we need? Do we have an army around Texas, too? Because we're going to go to war pretty much immediately. Cool. Ah, uh, we do not. I'm not too worried about that, though. Once we smash the rest of these guys, we'll be okay. Are they allied with anyone important? Argentina, Ecuador? Nope. All right, let's go to war and see what happens. Hispaniola would be great to get. We could call all of our allies in except for Brazil and Chile. So Peru, Austria-Hungary, Spain, and Portugal. Nice. Hope I'm spending a lot of money on our military already. Call our ally. Good. Portugal. Well, we wanted to pop them last time, but it didn't work out, but whatever. And you guys are still fighting them, so that's fine. Oh, wow. Oh, they did sh definitely show up down here. Well, you guys are already fighting anyway, so whatever. Uh, who else are we allied to? I can't even remember anymore. Uh, oh, Austria-Hungary? Sure, why not? Peru, yes. Not sure how much they'll actually do, but hey, whatever. Evansville, I will probably mobilize a lot faster than I did last time, so. Go to Pittsburgh. Go to Harrisburg. Nice. Let them do what they're going to do. They're going to immediately start attacking us, which is totally okay with us. Guys, go in here. Go to Philadelphia. Burn it. Go up here, too, and Williamsport. Ah, they're attacking us up here. There you go. That's fine. Ah, we threw in 100,000 some soldiers into the battle for Harrisburg. Ah, dividends. Good. We need more money. Ah, here we go. Uh, as much as I want to get this one, this would be really good to get. Pop consciousness does go down as well. That's really good. More education efficiency. That's so much efficiency. But a lot more stimulation, right? 3% want this. Uh, let's go with healthcare then. Screw it. Uh, uh, sure, Ottoman Empire. You guys can come out in. That's fine with us. Beautiful. 10,000. 11,000 we lost versus uh, 61,000. I think that's quite good. Although we discovered a Greek tomb. A royal tomb is found in Greece. Excellent. More research points and prestige. Cultural enrichments, very, very nice. We are slaughtering. We lost 26,000 versus 37,000 on attack. That is not bad. Keep going with what we're doing. America is definitely not as strong as it used to be, so far at least. Uh, how many divisions? That's quite a few guys. Let them move around first. 
Cool. Robert Torrens. Very nice. Very, very nice. Some of you guys over here, too. Oh, no, 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 no. America. No, 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 no. Actually, so let's take a look. How much would it cost for us to do this? Twelve. Oh, that's so cheap. Um, I, I, I said I would get Illinois. By God, we're going to get Illinois. We are taking Illinois. Uh, Casper, Slaves, and Marks. Crack down on them? That's fine. Crack them. They don't have that much organization, which is good to see. Head down here anyways, just in case. Oh boy, here we go. Get in, boys. Oh, we lost 2,000 Lexington, that makes sense. Oh, they're down there, huh? That's fine. They lost another 17,000. As it should be. There's a lot of guys down there, so we're going to go over here then next. Cool. Navy's max speed, very good. Army organization. Another 51,000 have been killed. Beautiful. 86. We need something really cheap. I don't think we're going to be able to get it. 29, New York. Massachusetts, New England is 35. Nevada can't be worth... Oh, God. It's, they're worth way too much. Is there anything else really so much cheaper we can acquire? Dismantle industry, maybe? And... New York, that'd be, oh, that's a lot. Humiliate, we could probably, uh, right now we're at 86, we need 14, 14. Actually, quit, acquire Uruguay. That's 19 stew, oh my goodness, the mess applications, and I don't know, New York. We could do that, it's only four more infamy, it gives five more prestige. Ah, uh, we can't do one yet, that's fine. We just gotta kill them off a little bit harder now. It is fine with us. Syracuse. Uh, go down here. New York. We get good to get. Nice. Three thousand have died. Numbers are just dropping like crazy. Head on up here too. Nope. Nice. 22,000 more have died. That's good. Head on down here, guys. They need some support immediately. We might actually lose this battle, so this is actually really risky. Oh, we barely got in there in time. Just barely got in there. Nice. Alright, keep going over here. That's fine. Good, good, good. Help them out. That'd be nice. Alright, another 20,000 have died. Awesome, awesome. Tensions as the paid is good. A hundred divisions, hundred thousand men just here. Nice, very good, very good. And kill them off. That's a lot of dudes, but that's all right. That is a okay with us. Oh, they're attacking us up there. That's not good. Um, think to get up here in time. Probably not, honestly. America, peace. Wait, liberate Illinois. Hold on. Oh, okay then. It's not a big war, but that's alright. We got what we needed, and now we got the coal of Chicago. And we can hopefully start converting these guys more and more to Dixie, which would be great. Not bad. We didn't have to mobilize too, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Now our armies are really beaten up, which is really bad. So let's do it like this. We'll cut down there, and then you guys go down to uh, Richmond, and then you guys go down to Norfolk, and then you guys go to there, and then you guys go to there, and then you guys go to Lexington, and then someone's going to go over to... Washington, and then someone... I like how they can you can do it like this to organize your armies and such, so that's really bad. Let's come to Charlotte. Or stay there. <sighs> Another war one, my friends. We didn't get any of these western states, but we did take what we really needed his, of Hispaniola as well as Illinois, so that's not too bad. Oh, how many do you have? So we're making one, two. Let's get a horse. Oh, a guard and a horse. An engineer. Oh, not too bad. Pretty good. Pretty darn good. And we'll fix up these armies as well, so. Um, we can lower spending by quite a bit on this stuff. We can make a lot of money doing that. But, 
forward. If you want to about that, please go ahead. Uh, poor strategy becomes somewhere, somewhere social, so be it. Let's go down to 50. I don't want to tax these guys too much. Uh, that's close enough. We're still making some good money. Alright, so you guys look like you've been hit pretty darn hard. Uh, do we have any other spare armies around here at all? Maybe? Yes? No? Oh, they got a lot of guys over there too. And over there as well. And, oh, Yankee Patriots. Nope. So really, we still have a truce with them until 92 later this year. So actually, anyone here really super injured? Oh, are these two armies here? Who are you? Chicago Artie? Yeah, you guys head on down to Mexico, so we gotta beat up Mexico again. They won't be as strong as last time, but we should still do okay. El Paso, thank you. And you guys, actually you could use it. Another infantry, huh? Actually, just go ahead and mobilize, build. In North America, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, nine, ten. Just build a lot of infantry and stuff like that, that's fine for now. Uh, over time, these guys will get a lot more strength, so I'm not really too worried about it too much. Uh, that's not really great, so come on down here. That's going to be like a mishmash of what we have right now. Austria-Hungary is fighting against Imperial Restoration of Benat. No, 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 not against Germany, man. Not against Germany. Yeah, you, you'll get killed by Germany. You will get killed. Uh, keep one guy up here just in case, and you guys are not looking too bad either. Could be a lot better, but whatever. Give the guys some time to heal up, make more divisions, you know the good stuff. Nice. And more naval bases if we can afford it. Only if we can afford it, which means let's get some cheap iron. That's This is only 30 some years behind in time. So, next war, hopefully we'll take some Indiana territory, because for the rest of this campaign we'll be beating up the United States of America. There's still 8th power in the, in the world, which is kind of insane, but we'll take out Colorado, Oklahoma, Nevada, and Indiana, which would be nice. Mine Commission of 92. Uh, see, the findings of our commission are, therefore, these. Working conditions in the Confederate coal fields fail to reach even the basis and modicums of decency with regards to safety. The mines rely heavily on child labor, ooh, for several of the more dangerous and filthy jobs. The youngest employee being a boy of a mere nine years of age. Lighting is poor and ventilation scant in an environment that is pitch black with coal dust. Furthermore, the Mines and Field Commission of 92 has submitted its final report on working conditions in the Confederate coal fields. <clears throat> and the verdict is harsh. Rush through reform? That's fine with us. And the Temperance League, if you like to read about this, please go ahead. Hmm, everything needs to go down. <clears throat> I don't want to lose prestige, so an excellent initiative. If they want more reforms, then we are welcome to have them to get more reforms. Uh, send you guys down here, too. We're going to need some more bodies for Mexico. Alright, this is looking very weird. Well, it could be a lot worse, I guess. You guys looking okay? We're going to keep you there. Uh, actually, all you need is an engineer, and you'll be fine. So, I'll steal the engineer from here. Bingo, bongo, bongo. Nice. Alright. Yeah, you're looking just really depleted. Uh, the situation will pass, don't worry about it. And see if you're too near Manassas. Yeah, those infantry just were just decimated. Wow. Alright, we can go to war very, 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 very soon. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Spend some more now. Now we have no money. I'm making the life of the capitalists very difficult. And that's okay with us. austro hungarian Benati War of Imperial Restoration. Yeah, guys. Yeah, that's why I didn't join in. Even if I joined in, we would still not be able to win that one, so. Not too concerned about it. Let them talk and get more prestige. Alright, so for this war, we gotta make sure we do what is correct. And make sure we take out the tiles that give us enough scores so we can take, take at least two. So 61 for Chihuahua, 67 for that one, and Durango is 51. Okay, so we can only take one. God dang it. <sighs> How strong is Mexico? Their score is 97, which is not too bad. We have 200 some. Actually, you guys are looking really good. I'm going to see you down here too. Because we're going to need at least a little bit more help too, so that'll be fine. What are the roads like down here? Not very good. God dang it. Why can't I invest in the roads? Ah. And you guys, how are you guys looking over here? Uh, actually, you need an engineer as well. Huh. Are we still building a lot of these guys up? Sort of. Well, yeah, sort of. Um, and one, two, three. And then, there you go. Build that. There you go. Lots of building for the military. 
Eighth in the Rome industry. Look at that. Nice. Because we took Illinois. Illinois is now the most prosperous industrial power. Old Red Tired Soldier. Um, if you're worried about that, please go right ahead. Acceptable pensions. Acceptable minimum wage. I don't mind the minimum wage. Minimum wage is fine with me. And I got some of that done too. Cool. Uh, assembly line. We have less tech problems and we can get a better industry. Cool. Less conservative support. More liberal support now. Uh, we'll see. We'll definitely see. Uh, both of you are looking not too bad. Send you down here too, just in case. Alright, let's go to war. We should be okay to go to war. Um, Nuevo 69. Well, let's do the most expensive one, Nuevo. Everyone will accept. We might be able to get another state out of this, depending on what happens. Or we will force them to demobilize. We'll see. I'm not going to call our allies in. Actually, you probably won't kill off Guatemala as well, so. Let's go on in, boys. Morelos. Keep those guys here for now. Hi, dividends. Very good. Alright, begin seeding them down. Paral. And Canada and Argentina. Very cool. Hmm. Canada, Argentina. Argentina and Canada. Oh, they're kind of socialist. Socialist Party Canada. Well, at least they're honest about it. Okay, someone rose up here. That's cool. That's fine with us. Whatever. It's only 3,000, so not too bad. Pretty normal. And they're still trying to mobilize a little bit more. That's fine with us. And actually, since you're almost done, we have colonial on us. We must remain calm. Get this tile first. Membership in the International Olympic Committee. The combination of renewed interest in ancient Greek civilization and the idea of a sport as an important part of social development has led a French aristocrat, Baron Pierre de Coubertin, to propose reviving the Olympic Games as a way to promote international peace through friendly athletic competition between nations. Should our jo nation join his International Olympic Game Committee to organize the first games? Oh, absolutely. Now, since we're already here, we're going to do this. Kill them off. Not today. Thousands are dying by the day, as it should be. Brownwater School, cool. And they should be defeated very soon. And head on over here. Now, we're losing quite a few guys, but they're losing a lot of guys. Wow. Uh, lose some prestige, that's fine. Find the Mexican armies and just kill them all off. Just literally dust stack them. Iron production, very nice. Losing a lot of money, though, which is not very good, but whatever. Here, head on down. And is there anything else we could take here? Uh, 50 is just so much, because currently it is at total 72, 71, 72 ish. Oh, uh, we could get him to pay reparations. We do get some stuff too. I don't want to hurt our infamy too much, because we're going to need to save that immediately for the next one. So let's just do pay reparations. There you go. I'll take a couple of wars to get rid of these Mexican menaces, but that's fine. It's alright. We have a really good military. Number 99 9 sets a speed record. Engine 999 headed up the Empire State Express on the New York Central and Hudson River Railroad was clocked at a speed of 112 miles per hour. Amazing. And the Mexican military forces have pretty much been uh, defeated, pretty much, at this point. Just a few guys left, but nothing that we really can't handle at all. Alright, head on to Reynosa. Oh, well, maybe except for those guys. It's alright, we'll deal with them. There you go, nice. Not too bad. 14,000 have died. As it should be. And now they demobilize and we can influence Canada. Not bad. Mexico? Yeah, we're currently at what score? No, Jesus, 99. Blood and roses. As the soldiers depart from lodgings and barracks to go off. As young men are wont to do. To fight and bleed in the Great War, they close marching, their clothes marching columns are saluted on their ways by women and children of all ages standing along wrong, long roadsides and on the railway stations, sending them off with kisses and smiles, and decorating their weapons with flowers. Let us not overextend. We are in it to win it. And win it we shall. Oh, some rebels. Even these guys are looking really bad now. Wow. I might just destroy this army here. Maybe. We'll see. I think we'll do okay, though. Blast them. I guess we got a good... Let's go to Nebraska next and just defeat whoever's up here causing problems for us. Um, how are we doing over here, actually? Not too bad. We could use that one engineer, though, if we do have one. Oh, it's going to take some time to get some more engineers. That's fine. We can close that out, too. That's fine. Oh, we need way more money. Oh, boy. This boat, we could probably lower it by a little bit more. Lower it by a little bit more as well. There you go. Now it shot up by quite a bit. Cool. Monterey? Nope. Because we'll probably go to war with Guatemala next. Brilliant. Awesome. Awesome.
Oh, and you know what? Since you're here anyways, uh, how about... These guys are really struggling around here. Just send you guys home. Just go up to Washington. Hang out in Washington. Take a break. You've been trying yourself, pushing yourself too hard. And some, sometimes they just need a break, man. And sometimes we just need help taking out Yankee Rebels. You guys headed up north, which is fine with us. How many times do we need to teach you this lesson, old man? Oh, whoa. oh wow, that's a lot of commies. Alright then, that sucks. Can you peace out immediately then, just in case? Nope. It's alright. And we got an election too, so we'll see. Our spending is also actually really good right now, so. Unfortunate. Nice. Where are these guys moving to? Pico, nice. Second most prestigious country in the world. Oh, you're gonna need a, another infantry. That sucks. Anger against the government makes sense. And yes, yes, that's all we wanted. You guys actually will stay there. You guys need to eh, stay down in southern Texas. And you guys come over here. You need another infantry, so that'll be fine. There you go. Good job, guys. And you guys can stay near the border of us and America. At least we're at peace now, too, which is very nice. And that's the okay, case, so we're going to lower spending eventually. Well, let's go to this one first. Let's go 65%. Blast them. Oh, we went to Nebraska, right? Oh, well, we're getting there. That's rubbish. Plant economy? Sure, why not? Find them and kill them all. We will have no raiders here. That's fine, and how are we doing with this? Good. Illinois looks extremely bad, so there you go. And I think we're done with that. Um, how is Virginia? They can use... They're doing okay. As a time to encourage craftsmen, maybe in North Carolina, maybe. Maybe in Missouri, actually. Missouri. Louisiana? Illinois is looking not too... Wow, Illinois is looking very good. Wow. California is not looking too bad either. If that's a case. Well, Kansas could use one of these two. How are we doing over here? Not good, not good, not good. Wow, this takes so long to get more bureaucrats. Uh, let's go. What do the people want? Hmm. I still like reactionaries. We got a lot of money now. Wow. But of course, it is never enough. I could get some of that too. Get some of that too. Union busting. There's foxes in the hen house, cows out in the corn. The unions have been busted, their proud red banners torn. Steve Earle. Capitals in one of our states begin employing union busting tactics to end what they could describe as a scourge of organized labor by employing professional infiltrators to get under the skin of the state's labor movement. The capitals hope to be able to sow discontent among the union ranking file. An excellent initiative that can only be applauded. More reactionary, less socialists. Stop. This name must stop infringing on organizational freedoms. Oh, there we go. Cool. Battle San Diego. Heal them comments. Other comments from the yesterday included rule the entire Western Hemisphere. Well, we're kind of trying. And it's the mod. Blood and Iron better than HPM and or HFM. I wouldn't say it's better. It's just different. That's really the best thing you could say about it. It's just this mod, Blood and Iron, is different than HPM and F, um, HFM. No, I've not played a lot of HFM before. I've played in my own time um, on a different computer, I think. But, uh... It's just different. That's the biggest thing I can say. It's, they're different flavors that each mod brings. This one has more CBs you can use and stuff like that. Actually, that's going to be really good for us. Um, so, more CBs. Maybe well, we have stormtroopers here as well. And you might have different pops. We have industrial slaves as well. HFM, HPM try to have a little bit more historical basis, especially HFM. It's much more railroady, as people like to say about the game, which is, or the mod, which is absolutely true. Uh, if you wanted to be more railroady, then HFM is better. If you want to be a little bit more crazy, especially with the Golden Circle, then Blood and Iron is the go-to mod, I would say. And, yeah. That's pretty much all i got to say about it. Oh, there we go. We do this again. Uh, what do people want? What do the voters want? Moralism, slavery allowed? Alright, jingoism, pro-military. Alright, so what do the people want? Which should be almost the exact same thing, because everyone can everyone can vote. So, everyone wants, wants slavery allowed, which is good. Compared to the people who want slavery outlawed. Let's see, this is 4%. Um, honestly, if that lowers militancy and consciousness, we're going to go for that immediately. We actually have acceptable minimum wage. It's not too bad. That's actually pretty good. 
And then we'll go with good schooling system because we are actually at 77.8%, so. Not bad. Give it in. Thank you. Thank you. And we like to explore. Ooh, they do a fuel down there too, which is pretty nice. Only one per se. Oh, do, uh, is that building built somewhere else? Actually, in the meantime. Ooh, I have actually maybe too many guys here. Uh, do you have anyone? No, okay. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Who are you guys? Who are? That's fine. Goodbye. Infantry. Get a can. Anyone else? No. Okay. Oh, that's not really good. That's too much ideologies. Look at all these different ideologies. We'll look at the map mode very soon. But I do want to start just finding on Guatemala to get rid of them. We can do this by getting the golden circle stuff, but we have to wait so long for the Mexican wars to happen, so it doesn't really matter to me. But one of my favorite things to do is look at nationality. So nothing has really changed around here. Oh, we got a lot of guys down here too. That is not good. Oh boy. Say capitalism is the way to go. And we won the election. Alright, so it seems like we're going to have to send a ship or a fleet down here. There you go. Well, that's a lot of infamy, but whatever. We can afford that for now. Let's roll on in and kill them all off. Oh yeah, they've definitely taken over a lot of areas. Alright, let's come back over here and see. Can we make anything else? No, we can't. That sucks. Okay. We're losing a lot of guys, but we're going to kill them all off, which is good. Alright. Oh, Jacobins. But that's basically where we're already at. And we have an army down here already, so we can deal with them. Could be a lot worse. Oh, here's some money. There you go. Yeah, doing it with the slaves is not easy. Having slavery still in 1894 is not super easy. That looks so bad. Oh, this is so bad. Uh, sure, guys. If you want to come in, that's fine. Uh, since they're busy down there anyways, come over here. How do we not have an engineer yet? Oh, we do. Good. That's good. I was like, wow, how do we not have an engineer yet? We're going to send him to Cuba immediately. You guys. What are you missing? Ooh, what is it? Cheap labor in Bowling Green. Factories dot the landscape where there once used to be plantations of farms that ran on the blood and sweat of slaves. In this new CSA, though, employers have begun hiring cheap workers, often immigrants because the cost of keeping slaves has become unsustainable for many. Arguments could be made against them that they are sabotaging the economy, but in a free economy, they have the right to employ whoever they choose. Do not interfere in local businesses? Restrict fa uh, factory hiring quotas. No, we're not going to get infected. Nope. Not gonna get involved. So you need an artillery and an infantry. There you go. Exactly why I made this big old stack here. Rubber found in San Miguel. Very nice. All right, guys, head on the boat and head on here because they're about to come kill us. Mission Guatemala. What are you talking about? And they started killing us. And with, but once we reinforce, come on, move the ships a little faster, establishing a penal colony. The idea of isolating offenders and breaches of the public peace from society in general is probably as old as time itself. Many classical systems of justice included banishment from the realm as a last resort of punishment, reserved for serious crimes and offenses, and such punishment was not seldom considered worse than a death penalty. With the growth of the European colonial empires during the 18th to the 19th centuries, these ideas were received a modern incarnation in the form of the penal colony, with renowned or infamous examples being the British colony at Botany Bay and the French Devil's Island and French Guiana. Since the Confederate States of America have occupied several territories that could be well suited for such purpose, perhaps we ourselves build or should consider establishing such institutions. No one escapes from... Azel's a toll. I think there are more humane solutions to consider. Nope. And now we'll kill every single last Cuban who wants to rise up. You rise up, we kill you. Sure, guys, if you want to come through here, that's fine. Beautiful. Now you guys have been really wow. No one was left alive. Okay. If that's how they want to play, then so be it. Oh, you guys were not. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that could help, help speed up or whatever. Cool. Add it down here, guys. Back to Norfolk. Hey, Cole's done. Nice. Advanced metallurgy. Not bad, not bad. And once we get better production stuff, we could. Or we can do some commerce stuff. We could use more money, right? Admin efficiency, business banks, classical theory. Why not? Oh, uh, uh, we haven't discovered Karl Marx yet, but we have slaves reading about his work, which. Hmm. 
leaves some questions for me, but whatever. Infantry in that. Let's go with an infantry and an engineer then. There you go. How is America doing right now? They're still 8th great power in the world. France exists, Germany exists, and they are our ally, which is good. Austria, Hungary, Spain, everyone likes us. Eh, yeah, except the Portuguese. Oh, 3rd Russian restoration to the order of Poland. What happened to Poland? Oh, they're dead. Oh, okay. Well, then why do they need access to my territory? That's the exact opposite. Um, the UK, what are you doing? There you go. You know what's weird when Slovenia and Slovakia are both alive? At this point, just call your... Uh, that makes way too much sense that you're Austria-Hungary, but you still own parts of Northern Italy. Why? Not bad. You guys looking okay as well. How are the armies? Because at this point, we're going to start, like, getting rid of in another infantry we need. Yes. Uh, we don't need that one. Goodbye. And infantry. You guys are okay. You guys could use another infantry down there too. Actually, no, you're you're okay where you're at. Give me another infantry person. And you guys need what? A horse and an infantry. Crap. Horse. Horses. Nice. They'll be okay. I'm not too worried about that. I'm a little bit more worried about making money, though. Uh, we can fit our weight. Nice. Lower it by a little bit more. We lost a little bit. That's fine. Do not interfere with it. what's going on down there. That's fine. Enforce the, curricu the uh, Confederate curricula. Always, always, always. We need as much assimilation as possible. Lazy needs just need to learn to adapt. That's all. That's all they need to do. Just learn to adapt. Um... Oh, they rose up in Hawaii. That's good that we saw that one. Crap. Uh, well, I guess you guys can go through here. Apprehending Geronimo. The renowned Apache outlaw Geronimo surrendered today to Captain Henry Lawton of the army with a small, tattered band of Apache men, women, and children. With Geronimo's surrender, the last shred of Apache resistance in the West has died out, and the once part of Indian nation can now be considered pacified. Geronimo will, many years from now on, be on his deathbed, confess to a nephew that he always regretted the decision to, to surrender. Hail to the chief! You get what you get, my friends. Arizona? Oh, we make him see. Nice. Ah, Arizona. Okay, guys, please. Uh, that's not bad, actually. Fighting these guys? Oh, that's a lot of allies, really. That's quite a few allies. I don't want to go to war. We just can't afford it, so sorry. Nice. Good. They don't even care. Nice. Very good. Good. And great. Not bad. We're doing quite well, I would say. I do want to take a look at the culture map mode and stuff. Uh, what are you guys doing? Hagerstown? Why not? Their military is not too bad, but obviously we're still bigger and better. All right, let's see. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess it would be eight, nine, ten, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go. And another 60,000 stack. Baltimore, it is. All right, so what do we need here? Italy? No. We have a lot of artillery. Quite a bit of artillery. Can we build any more? Yes, we can. Infantry? What do we have here? Dixie and infantry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, let's see. That is seven. That's quite a few. Uh, let's go with one, two, three, four, five, one. Well, that's, that's Santo Domingo. Well, actually, that's okay to build Santo Domingo one. Where's Santo Domingo? There you go. So that's one, two, three, four, five. But now we need one, two, three, four, five. There you go. Whole another army. Beautiful. And we can go back to war with America when? 98. So it's going to be like four more years. So obviously I'll do a lot of things off screen and such like that. But, oh, less conservative support. But they're still the majority, especially with the reactionary support they're up to as well. A fast ship killer would be very nice as well. 
Ah, more dividends? Good, 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 good. Because we still need to expand these ports. Good. Let him talk. We. Ooh, let's announce him. Let's announce him first. Admin. Input efficiency. So it makes it even cheaper to do that. That's fine with us. Foreign cuisine. Pasta. Happy 19. Or 1895, everyone. As we're still waiting to justify on Guatemala. But we're almost there. We're literally almost there. Are they allied with anybody? Hopefully not, because we will kill them off, and then we'll go to war with Los Altos as well. Which would be great. Mexico, how strong are you? 42 score? That is not bad for us. Sure, Egypt. There you go. And now we can do this. Immediately go straight on him. So we're going to need at least one, if not two more wars against Mexico, Mexico to do the other stuff. Uh, that's fine. But at this point, now we should be able to ping Mexico from two sides, which would be nice. Old canned food? The Quartermaster General reports the discovery of a forgotten catch of canned food stuff in an army stockpile in La Vega. The content of the cans is still, despite being several years old, quite apparently edible. But what should we do with the 15 tons of canned food? How long could it last? Ah, uh, lower the militancy. That's fine with us. Greece goes bankrupt. Pretty normal. Mechanized farming? Great! Oh, we got a marine. Sayashe? I wonder if we could actually add on. See, how much does this cost? 100%? 85? No, we can't add on. Uh, war reparations would be really nice, though. Detroit electrified. Nice! Another another Greek, Greek tomb was discovered. More prestige and more... Look at that. Ah, so good. Thank you very much. Pretty good. Pretty darn good, I would say. Alright, so you guys have... We need an engineer. Not bad, my friends. What is this? Cool. And I guess we could do Los Altos, but I think I might just wait to do this off-screen just to make it done and get it done quickly. But before we end the day's episode, we're looking really not bad. We took Illinois. Illinois is really good to get because of all that co-op in Chicago. Uh, let's see, the political machines. I mean, let's, um, they have anarchy bomb throwers there. What do you expect? It's Illinois. That's really Chicago, not even Illinois. But before we conclude, I do want to show you some of the map mode stuff. Actually, let's show off Europe first. It's pretty much exactly the same as we just saw. Serbia has gone crazy. Um, Africa's been mostly colonized. And we're still improving ourselves all over the place. Uh, Middle East isn't too different than normal. Uh, the Ottoman Empire still somehow exists. They're in our sphere. The Russian Empire is touching the Ottomans in an appropriate way. Oh, what happened here? France and then the Japanese came down here. All right. Oh, oh, this is Ainu. Oh, that is so disgusting. They're uncivilized. Oh, actually. Huh. Not bad. We might want to get a little touchy with them up here then. That's a lot of coal. That's really good to get. But before we conclude, I do want to show you infrastructure. We can't really show you too much here. Um, Diplomatic stuff. We, look, we like, love ourselves. Actually, we love ourselves quite a bit. Illinois has cores and stuff like that. Uh, region map mode. We have the revolt risk, which is pretty high in California, Texas. Illinois, obviously, but I don't care. Let them rebel. We'll kill them all off if we have to. And I'll do the National Spirits off-screen, or the National Focuses. Recruitment, of course. National Spirits. Focus stuff. Ooh, actually, yeah. Let's do that one, too. And RGO output, we can see. Population density. So, as we can see, <clears throat> Chicago has a lot of population. Even San Francisco has starting to get some serious population. Tennessee is really good. Nashville. Uh, Columbia. Richmond, of course. Even Montgomery and Louisiana. Even Havana is looking pretty good for population. We got a lot of slaves down, uh, still down there. But nationality wise, we are looking. This is my favorite map mode. There's still a lot of Mexicans in what was known as Mexico, but we'll, we'll work on that. We're definitely working Bilo Russian, Japanese, normal Russian. So eventually, we'll get more and more assimilation here. These areas are still quite uh, Yankee, we'll put it like that. And Native American minor, really. Both of them. So it is what it is. Um, other than that, we haven't assimilated as much as I would like to. But Wisconsin is still becoming more and more assimilated, which is nice. And so is Michigan. Detroit is still Yankee, but we'll see about that in time. And look at that. A third in, his, in La Vega is literally Dixie. And the other third is another accepted culture of Carabino. But if you enjoyed the campaign, or the video at least so far. We're not done with the campaign yet, but if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow when we go to war with Los Altos and beat up more Mexicans and Americans. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.